I'm not far, Brad. Okay, good, man. How are you? Very good. It's good, nice good. to see you. What do you got there, your notes? I got my notes. Yeah. I want to make sure we touch all the subjects and, okay. we, and we have some well, fun maybe, out here today. Maybe you should ask me some questions then. Well, I'd love to ask you some questions. Yeah, but, but I'm not going to answer them. So. <laughs> oh, by the way, gang, my role here is to represent you. So in the break, if I'm not doing it, you want me to do something differently, just tell me. I'm your, I'm your, your servant. Um, so the subject, you and I have talked a lot about a lot of things over the years. The subject I want to talk about now is there's ambitious people here who sure. were, like you, top producers. Um, and they want to go out and build a company. They want to go from being uh, they kind of in the service business, and they want to build an asset that maybe someone will buy someday. Um, you seem to have succeeded to that. Uh, four years? Four years so far, yeah. And you have, like, how many agents, how many markets? Tell me what you got going. Well, you know, the first thing you have to ask is not how many agents or how many markets, because you're already starting off asking the wrong question, right? Um, I like it. <laughs> I love it. Give it up. <laughs> you know, the, 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 the question that we need to ask and all these people need to ask each themselves is, uh, what's the opportunity, right? What's wrong with my firm? What's wrong with my industry? What's, you know, start at the top. What's wrong with the industry? What's wrong with my firm? What's wrong with my uh, personal branding? And then how do I create the opportunity? And is there an opportunity to do something fantastic and wonderful and actually go out and redefine uh, real estate, or or create something new, whether it's through technology or whether it's services for your uh, uh, you know uh, your consumers or your or your agents, right? So the big question you know that we asked ourselves was uh, when we started this thing is what is wrong? What is the opportunity? Um, and so what was wrong? What so, did you see? Well, there's a lot of things that are wrong. <laughs> you know, number one is that the uh, the reality is that uh, the brokers stopped giving services to their own agents, okay? And the reality is that the brokers basically said to themselves, what I want to do is I want to create a, a, a house where I can house uh, multiple real estate agents, and I'm going to charge them very little, and as long as I pay $10,000 of rent and I uh, earn $15,000, I'm doing well, right? And what was forgotten was... Uh, we, we devolved. Instead of evolving, the whole system went backwards, okay? And it really became archaic, um, similarly to an, the airline industry, you know, where Richard Branson came in and revolutionized that and redefined that. He still flies people from point A to point B, but he certainly changed the experience of how people fly from point A to point B. And then other airline industries said, holy cow, these guys know what they're doing. I want to learn from that. And they started copying and, and, and redefined it. And the airline industry certainly got better for in, us, in, right? In, de in defense of those brokers, when agents started getting 100% commission, <laughs> I don't think that's a split, actually. Um, <laughs> how do they make money to keep the doors open in Beverly? Well, if you're paying 100% commission splits, you're not making any money, obviously. Um, you're, you know, but you're paying, you know, people that are doing that, I guess, you know, the, the firms that are doing that collect a $35,000 uh, fee. And, and like I said, they cost them, you know, $15,000 for that desk. They collect the $35,000 fee and they've made money, right? But what they've stopped, if they've stopped understanding who their two people are, right? Who are you marketing for? Who are you servicing? Number one, you have to service the consumer, right? How do you service the consumer? By servicing the agent, right? If you can give power to the agent and, and the agent has enough services to therefore service the consumer, the agent becomes a lot better. So what better, are those? Because it's right? a bit specific. That sounds good. But what so are, the what idea are is to free up the agent to do what they do best. So that means you provide what to make sure they do that? So we provide. So what, what do agents need? Right? Let's discuss that for one second, and then we decide how we provide it and what's provided. What's the number one thing agents need in order to be successful? Information. Somebody said information. Marketing. Marketing. Branding. Um, right? So what do we provide? We provide information. Right? How do we provide information? By creating a company where uh, there's 100% collaboration and zero competitiveness. Okay? What does that mean? So what does that mean? So I remember we went out on a listing appointment. Um, I'll give you a perfect example. We went out on a listing appointment against, uh, uh, for a big property, a $35 million property. Um, there were multiple agents bidding you know, for that appointment. Uh, one company had three agents representing that company for that particular listing. Uh, we had two agents that had the lead at the agency, and they went after this, this listing. So as we're meeting, uh, each agent spoke about how they were the best at their company 
right, at their respective company, and how they were going to be delivering amazing services as themselves, right, to, for the company. And they were talking bad about the other two agents <laughs> that were from their own company um, and, and speaking bad against those two other agents. How do we know that? Because the seller said to us, says, you know, it's very relieving and very refreshing to be watching uh, uh, what, what's going on right now. You guys all joined together. Rather than competing, you came in as one. You delivered a uh, presentation that was non-competitive, okay? And all of these other agents at this other company are just talking bad about each other. I'm going to go with you guys. So by creating that non-competitive nature, it's a culture, right? So the culture in our company, as you know, and I've said it before, is number one, no assholes. It's big. It's written in capital letters. I promise this, okay? Number two, <laughs> we like to have fun. And number three, an environment that's non that's uh, non competitive is 100% collaborative. But like out of the world, Maurice, you have a reputation. I mean, or the, this whole market has a reputation. You all are cutthroat in this, right? In Southern California. I mean, they, uh, but you're saying that doesn't happen inside; it happens outside. Well, or I'm saying it happens. Outside. Well, and, and and you're right. And the problem is that the industry's become more and more cutthroat, and 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 getting more competitive and more in that nature. And quite honestly, that is what the agency delivers on in terms of an opportunity. Uh, to, to not be that cutthroat nature and to be able to collaborate. I mean, we have information, our CRM system, uh, we try to buy, we bought every CRM system out there. I mean, we, we really did, we had to build our own, okay? And uh, basically, everybody dumps in all of their information, everybody's talking. Um, you know, if you have a, uh, uh, Zillow was just talking about this, but you know, if you have a, uh, a showing, you input it into the showing. Uh, John Smith saw this house in 2014 and, and whatever. I go in, you know, uh, two years later, I punch in John Smith uh, that I'm going to be showing him that house, and I can see every house he's ever seen with every agent he's ever worked with. Okay, so now I have knowledge. I'm starting to create information. Now I can actually be able to come to John Smith and say, hey, John, why did you not buy, you know, 18, you know, 123 Easy Street, right? Um, and, and start creating that. So therefore, our agents start having that power of information. And the only way they have the power of the information is to be able to be collaborative and share absolutely everything. Check your list to see how we're doing. Uh, questions, feel free to go up to the mic. Um, let me ask you this. So culture, marketing, or no, you said information. Let's go to marketing. I had a, a big broker from New York who's trying to come into this market, and he was telling me, God, I was shocked. They, uh, California, they provide all these marketing services, where in New York, I guess, the individual agents do it. They pay for that. Yeah. Uh, is that true? I mean, and what does that include? What can they expect from any of you, but you in particular? Well, you know, one of our competitive advantages is we actually created a uh, marketing company. Uh, we have a creative division called the Agency Creative. Uh, not only do we create and market for our own agents uh, and for our own uh, company, but we also do it for multiple companies around uh, the country, whether it's for buildings, uh, for Lamborghini, uh, we, we will build websites, et cetera, et cetera. So we actually were able to uh, pay for a uh, tremendous amount of creative and marketing through being able to have another uh, uh, source of income. So, you know, we offer that for our agents. Our agents actually, believe it or not, uh, uh, it, it's fantastic. They can actually choose to have creative uh, help them more, and by them choosing that, what they can do is they, 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 it's called an ID listing, and uh, they sign up for it, and they actually pay a higher commission split uh, to the company to be able to get that, uh, those services. Wait, okay. wait, who pays, so, give me the math there. Who's paying what, where? The agent is actually accepting to pay higher commission splits to the agency to receive those services. It's at their discretion, at their choice. Do you have any takers in that? Is that happening? It happens a lot. Really? It happens a lot. Now let's go back to, you did, we just heard here several times, no more print, all digital. You bought 60 pages in the Los Angeles, do I have it right, in the Los Angeles Times print edition? Uh, actually, last weekend we had a ton of fun. We decided to paint the uh, town red. Um, so what we did is we did, we held uh, 45 open houses. We had signs absolutely everywhere. Everybody got together. Uh, all of the agents put out all their signs. We took out something like 60 pages in the LA Times. And it was just one after the next after the next. And again, the uh, you who know, are you branding then? Are you trying to sell the house? Or are you trying to brand the agency? Are you trying to brand the agent? Um, I think it's a combination of all. You're, you're you're trying to sell the house. You're holding the house open uh, by having complete collaboration and every agent knowing what house is open. Uh, we're actually able to send uh, the consumer and ask him what he wants and be able to send him to another house, right? So now you start triangulating the consumer, and rather than the agent trying to be looking out for themselves, 
the agent is, 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 is triangulating the consumer and making sure the and consumer is And do you think the consumer the actually is aware enough of the agency to call you up and say, we want to buy and sell a house from you? Or is it well, there's no question about that. That uh, happens. It happens a lot. Um, I mean. Amongst a <laughs> high-end network of people that know you, or is that from you know, everyday people like, oh, I know the agency, I'm going to call them? It's from everything. It's from all of the marketing and advertising that we've done. Um, it's the uh, it's the way that we uh, approach the community. We're very you know in tune with the community. Uh, it's very important to be part of the community, and that's where some of this digital stuff fails, right? So you love I love digital. Love digital. I'm not saying anything wrong about digital. I'm not saying anything wrong about the web. I love it. I embrace it. I embrace technology more than anything. But the reality is that the consumer, the agent, has to be able to touch. The, the, cons the consumer, excuse me, the agent has to be able to touch the consumer. That is what we're best at. If we can free up the agent's time to be able to touch the consumer more, therefore the agent should become a much better agent. And is should that be able more to likely more, right? to work in a smaller contained environment where you're talking about a boutique agency, or is that true of somebody that's larger, that stretches boundaries? You do globally, but you know what I'm saying? Well, theoretically, it should work across the board, Yeah. right? Um, when you talk about size, Size is only a problem when the uh, company cannot all communicate, right? If you're able to create a system where the entire company can communicate, then size should not matter, theoretically, yeah. right? Well, I like Gary's story. He said he got a call from the Chinese buyer, but at the end of the day, breaking bread or you know, drinking wine, I guess it was, that's where kind of the deal concept. Yes, ma'am, and tell us your name. I'm Ellen Cedena with Briggs Freeman Sotheby's in Dallas, Texas. And I'm the CMO for Briggs Freeman, and I love, Mauricio, what you have to say, because if we were at a print conference, it would all be about print. If we're at a digital, it's all about digital. But in today, when you look at Porsche, Chanel, and all the luxury, they're realizing people have to be across all platforms. When we take our full page in the mansion, that has been the most successful, because our price point of luxury in Dallas, people aren't coming for oceans and mountains. They're coming for business. And so for us, the return on investment is people coming to do business in Dallas, Texas. So print is still very effective, but it also builds the brand of the agent. And you see that. And I think in today, when you look at all marketing and you all are strategic people, you have to look at every platform to where the buyer is. And it's not one answer. So I love what you had to say there. We did an open house that was similar. We had over 2 million hits. We had 220 properties on. We had 65,000 page views. It was print, digital, and social, all united to get the best price. And so I think it, wherever you are, if you think there's one answer, I don't think that's the answer. Would I you think be on a panel in New York? It. You're really great. I love the way you spit out those numbers. You were fantastic. Anyway, but the point is I, I really appreciate what you have to say, and I don't think one answer is for all. And I just think like Architecture Digest for us in print for two of our top agents have gotten more leads and more people, and I would never have thought, and it was a regional Now mind. you've gone overboard, Daryl. That was Fine. great. Uh, go ahead. You want to, I think it was a compliment. Uh, I'm, not not sure I had, I'm not sure I had to heard the question. The point but, is, um, my question to you is, my question to you is, don't your philosophy is that you're building the funnel to the property and the funnel to the agent. That's right. Good way is of that it. what you're trying to do yeah. with your Very marketing? Very well said. Yes. Okay. Okay. Number two. That was great. We do want you to come to New York. <laughs> I love Hi. her, by the way. Yeah, she's, she's great. How are you? I'm Rene. I'm from Mexico City. I represent. Uh, Viva Robert. Mexico! Viva Mexico! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm from Cool Living, Mexico, and my question to you, Mauricio, is how do you recruit? Can you tell us something about your recruiting system? Because uh, how, how can you make sure there are no assholes? <laughs> <laughs> Great question. Great question. I love that. I love that. Uh, people have to be part of the community. They have to be accepted by everybody. The way we recruit is we all talk. There's actually a, uh, somebody comes in, they want to be part of the agency. Um, we're, we actually don't recruit, okay? Let me start off by saying that, okay? Actually, people... Really, you don't? Come on. We really don't. Really? Uh, no, I mean, there are people I love that I will personally talk to or whatever, but we, are, we don't have a recruiting person. We are not recruiting. We do not recruit. 
Additionally, we close the amount of people that are allowed to work at the agency per office. It's not about size, it's about, it's about quality. When you wear this agency pin, when you wear the agency flag, you're an expert at what you do, and it's not about how many we have, and that's why the question of how many we have, it's the wrong question. But what we do is we create a committee, and, 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 and we bring them out uh, to our sales meetings. We have them meet absolutely you know, everybody out there. They go introduce themselves. If anybody, we, we then put it into our system, and we ask, hey, we're recruiting this, you know, this person or this person wants to join us, does anybody have anything negative you know, to say about these people? Now, people have stuff negative to say about everybody. So we, we question more negativity on ethics uh, um, and not, not you know, a story that somebody you know, stole a listing or they won a buyer or they won a seller. That is not a bad person, okay? That's just a person that knows how to win. Um, <laughs> right? So, but we have a, we we do have an issue with ethics, ethics, or 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 as we say, assholes, right? So it's it's a collaborative uh, uh, decision to bring somebody into the agency. Not it's not a committee of one. We're out of time. Uh, I want to say one last thing. Okay. Um, and I'm going to beg everybody in this room. Okay, it's our duty to give back, right? Um, you know, we uh, joined uh, Give Back Homes. Uh, as, as, a, uh, as, a, as the agency, I, uh, we, had a, we had a meeting at the agency. I asked every single agent uh, if they wanted to have 100% participation, and every agent had 100% participation. As the agency, we're the first agency to participate you know, with Give Back Homes, to build homes for, with Habitat for Humanity. And I'm telling you guys, it's our duty to give back. It's our duty to give back to the community. I beg all of you to consider that. It's easy, um, and please, please do it. That was great. Uh, by the way, the gentleman from Mexico City, give me your card before you leave. I'm going there Tuesday with Yaz to celebrate her birthday. So great to have you. Thank you, Brown. Yeah, you were great. Thank Always you. good.